on the pool I have a guy coming out to check on it once a week while we're gone to check the chemicals and make sure that everything's running the most important thing is or a couple important things that frog needs to be spitting well out into the pool maybe five or six feet and if it's not um, give me a call and I'll show you how to turn off the pump because something's going on if that's the case but if the frog's spitting kind of out into this area here everything is probably in good shape the water level you can kind of see it's uh, it's about where it needs to be right now it's a little bit high because we've had that rain but the the middle part of those brown tiles is where the water level should be and if it's below that you can grab that green hose uh, from the house over there and uh, and just put some water in and I always put it on a timer to remind myself to turn it off because I've overflowed the pool that way before so uh, word to the wise um, clean out the tramps there's three of them that one's clear so just if there's material in there uh, you know more than a little uh, covering the bottom of that thing pull it out and then just put it on that pile of debris <coughs> behind the bushes there over there just beyond that uh, chase lounge and then the other uh, trap is here and then there's another one right over there and um, there's also a filter bag that I showed you on this Polaris uh, cleaner that you can just uh, un undo it. It's got a Velcro top. Um, it's best to do that um, when it's not running, <laughs> which is between, I think, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. So uh, first thing in the morning is not a bad time to do that if it needs cleaning out. And uh, haven't been a lot of stuff falling in the pool lately, so. Um, it's been uh, staying in pretty good shape. And as always, just uh, call me if you have any questions. Thanks.